Okay, I'm back again because my phone cut off. You should guys, you guys should know the drill. Basically, um, what I was saying, I was giving you a summary of everything I've been catching up so far when it comes to the character Stitch. I said Stitch. Um, there's a lot more to this character than I realized and that I didn't know when it comes to not just his nature but also who he really is. I said in the beginning when I was doing the research, a little short little research I did is that Stitch was made in a lab. He was a an experiment, but he was also an alien. But he was different from his own species, from his own kind, because he was one of a kind. He was the only species of his kind. And he escaped this um, alien planet, right? And the description that they had was that he was most wanted, by this alien planet that they were going after him because he escaped. Um, I also picked up that Stitch was traumatized. This character, he was actually traumatized to a point where he was closed off, like with his heart. And not only was he closed off, he was very unaware of love until he met Lilo. Lilo showed him the way of love because she believes in Ohana, which is about family. It, it means family, no one left behind. And Lilo was a person that has her heart open. She had a very big heart and she basically was teaching Stitch about love and teaching Stitch about kindness and different things that he didn't experience. Stitch didn't have a good experience in life. Uh, his beginning wasn't good until he met her. And I said that I found this character very annoying uh, when I was growing up and watching the show, and I didn't never really understood this character until now, I, I'm starting to I I realize why I relate to this character so much, but um, not realizing that he was very misunderstood too. Stitch was misunderstood. Um, he was misunderstood, but like by him meeting Lilo, she opened his heart, and he started to see things differently. Okay. And I was picking up that when it comes to the description. Not only that, I when it comes to this character, Stitch himself, not only was he one of a kind, he represents something of the divine. He was of the divine. He was the scale of life, literally. Because I kept showing this picture, the Six of Pentacles. And I said the, what was drawing me to this car was the way that she was holding it. It remind me of the scales, the balance of the scales, right? Th she represents Stitch. Stitch basically is the scale of life. He weighs the scale of life, of souls, right? And the next p card that was popped up was the page of cups in reverse. That's how it came out. And I, was, I, I kept looking at it face up and in reverse. And I was trying to say, why am I so drawn to this card? Until I, look, until I really pay attention to the, the background. And I said the sparkles. And then I saw her sh her light right here. And then the feather that's around her neck. The lectures that she's wearing. What s stood out to me was the sparkle behind her. It reminded me of souls. It, it's light. And then it came out reverse. I was able to see it clearly. Because if it's upright, I couldn't see it really clearly. When it was upside down, I did. So that tells me that it's hidden. People don't realize, people can't see his true self. People don't realize that he is the guardian of life. He is also the scale of life. He he decides people's fate. Not only can he decide people's fate, he can see their fate. He can see their spirit. He can see what type of soul they are. He sees it, but people, it's hidden. It's, it came out in reverse because people don't know that. It's hidden. People don't see Stitch as that, like a somewhat of importance of divine. They just see him as a menace. And I saw, I told you guys, I saw him. I, this character, what I thought about this character was that he was annoying, and not realized there was so much more to this character. He was not just an alien being. He was something much more than that. And I said that in this picture, the three cups. I said that. The butterfly, this butterfly right here, I didn't even realize there was a huge butterfly, but I saw all these. But there's a huge butterfly right in front of my face. Maybe because I was looking too fast. That I don't know. I just didn't know why I didn't see it before. It 
I was looking how it was positioned. It's at this girl's legs, right? It tells me that he sees different levels. He sees different angles, right, about people. And he sees people's differences and he sees people's similarities. No matter what background, no matter what position in life that you hold, he can see similarities and he can see differences of different souls that he brings together that he feels can bring something beautiful out of it. Because it's like a celebration. He, he That he feels like they can create something beautiful no matter their background. Because each of these individuals are wearing different color shirts, right? And they all look different. That tells me he brings the different souls together, but they're compatible in some way. He brings them together to build something. He brings peoples together. Not only that, I saw that the King of Wands and the Seven of Wands drew me. What drew me to the King of Wands was the man holding the wand and the bird. That was the first two things that I, I automatically saw. So it tells me that what like he he plants seeds, right? He plants a seed. It could be an idea. He could plant like an idea on someone's head. Or, like he could give people advice. Whatever the seed is, he plants it, and he allowed it to flourish, right? He allowed it to grow, and he he either masters skill or allows something to grow. He allowed it to flourish, and once it has flourished, he lets go, and he becomes the bird. He on to the next level. I said something about levels. So I tell that what I was getting from this card is that this person, Stitch, he evolves quickly as he learns. Once he learns something, he understands it quickly. He he evolves and he reaches new heights. He reaches new levels. But when it comes to that new level, he he has people that don't like that. That he can. There's some people don't like something about, about this character. It could be out of jealousy or something, but. Even so, this character can hold their ground. This character brings what it has learned through their challenges of life with them. And they use that as a protection. They use that as a, a weapon. They use their knowledge, their experience, their what they have mastered to their advantage. That is what I'm getting. So now, and I said, and I also left off on the lyrics of the song um, by... Adam Levine is called Love Some Somebody. I, I want to love somebody or something like that. And I said the lyrics that stood out to me act as if <laughs> this is not it. Excuse me. <laughs> You're such a hard act to follow. Love me today. You're going to leave me tomorrow. If I fall for you, I will never recover. I'll never be the same. So I was saying when the video cut off before, I was saying that People fall in love with you. This character type, this Stitch nature character, people are instantly drawn to you. People fall in love with you, of your essence, of your soul. But they also fall in love with It's like you're different. You stand out. You're you're like a puzzle to people. They they don't they can't figure you out. They they know there's something special, and they know that you're different. But they can't pinpoint why. Why they're so drawn to you. They don't know why they are so drawn to you. And when they are drawn to you, they fall in love with you. They fall hard. It's very hard for them to let go. They are in love with your light. I just did the Rapunzel video. This Stitch is very... All these characters connects. It all connects together. But um, that's what I was getting from that. People fall in love with you. And you're also the blueprint, too. Like, people can't fall. Like, if people try to copy you, it can't be done. It looks redundant. It looks like, it looks, uh, it doesn't, it can't compare. It, it looks awful when people try to mimic you. People try to copy you. It's like, people can tell the difference. It's not the same. It's not the same because they thinking that if they copy, let's just say they copy your style, they copy your hairstyle, the way you speak. They just think that that's what makes you different. That's what makes you stand out. That's what makes why people might love you because of what you wear, how you say it. It's not that. It's your aura. It's your soul. It's your energy. It's you yourself. That's what draws people's in. And people don't realize that. You can't mimic aura. You can't mimic a soul. Even if you're a clone, you cannot mimic a soul. A soul is a soul. It's made for that 
particular blueprint for that person of, of its own design. You cannot clone a soul. Like, that's impossible. And I don't even believe in the word impossible. It's literally, it cannot be done. You cannot copy a soul. That's what people are understanding. So, now, we... Um, what I said about the Five of Cups is like... Let's just see what comes out in... Hold on, you guys. I don't want too long. Hold on. Okay, so, what I left off was the Six of Cups, Five of Cups, and the Four of Cups. That's the um, cards I didn't get to read yet. What I'm getting from the Six of Cups, I'm getting that you remind people of their childhood, of their inner child. So, you may be someone who's very um, connected to your inner child, or you you have a very healthy relationship with your inner child, um, or you may have healed that part of you, and people can sense that, people notice that, and you express that part of you, your inner child. And that's what um, people found, people admire you because of your inner child, like how you express your inner child, but not only that, you help them connect to theirs as well, those who have forgotten t about their inner child. So you, mi you remind people of the past. You are, you are something of the old, you remind people of something of the old, something nostalgic, something that brings good feelings, something that brings hope. You bring hope to people. You bring hope to people when it comes to when people are grieving, when people are feel lost, when people are are in sorrow. It, you bring hope to them. You bring clarity to the, for them. You help them see their way. You help them find their way. You help them find their way. Like you're like the North Star. That's what was, is you're like the North Star for real. So I have the Four of Cups, but it came out reverse. But I'm I'm looking at it upright for a reason. It came out reverse. Again, people don't notice you. They don't see this. It, even though you're different, you stand out, but they don't realize how big you are. They think that you're... Like, again, like I was saying, like, people don't understand why they're so drawn to you, right? But at the same time, you, you may come... Like, they don't know why they are so drawn to you because you don't come off as... You may blend in. You may be like, you come off average looking, right? But there's something more to you. They can feel it. They sense it, but they don't understand what they're feeling. They don't understand what it is. Because there's something, you're something much more. Like I said, that you're something much more. There's more to your character that's hidden, that people don't see. You also, it, it, I, what I hear this card is that you protect people. You watch over people and you protect the pe people. I don't know if it's like every type of people, but you protect people. You watch over people. It's like you're, I don't know, it's like you're always there at the right time. You're always there when, pe when people need you the most. That's what I'm getting. You're always there when people need, need you the most. Wow, this character is very interesting. I'm going to leave it right there, you guys. Um, this character type, this nature, is someone of that knows discernment. Someone who is different and someone who stands out. Someone who people can trust, people go to for advice. Um, someone who is like the life of the part that is the star of their friend group. The main character in, their, in the fan group, uh, friend group family is like, you stand out. Um, someone who brings people together, you're different. There's more to your story. And someone who may be an introvert, but also an extrovert at the same time. So an ambivert. Um, someone who doesn't show, people don't really know you. Certain people, people don't really know you at all. They don't know, only know what you want them to know. Very interesting character type, but I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Tomorrow I'm going to do Ariel, so stay tuned for that. You know the drill. Comment down below your thoughts if it resonates with you. Um, like, hit the bell, subscribe.
see you guys next time and also i would like to give a huge thank you to the universe for helping me channel these messages for you guys for the collective and allowing me to be the messenger so i thank the universe and i thank you for your time have a good day and see you out bye Yeah. <laughs>